Hello, what is going on today, guys? It's been a while since I've put up some videos. Kind of just been busy, but uh, got an OG deadbolt up there. She's uh, a little done up. We got the axial capper, and as you can tell, it's pretty well did up, but mostly stock. But this is what we're mainly going to be talking about today. We might jump into the deadbolt, probably just do another video on that. Got an SEX 10 2 now. It's got an ascender body on it. Got the Gen 8 chopped into a truck, but we'll have to get in all that in another video I'm trying to make a drift car. But we'll get into all that. So we got the Axio Capra, and it was originally the green one. It was pretty cool for a while, and it had those wheels on it, but they look way better on the deadbolt, so those are on there now. We'll talk about all that. So this is the battery that I run in the Capra. It's a 3000 milliamp 3S. It's a Reedy, the Wolf Pack. Not not a cheap battery, so I'm not going to say it's a cheap battery. Not a cheap truck, but after you get a decent bit of stuff in it, it's uh, well worth the money for sure. But as you see, it's black, brass cage, uh, the brass on all the bolts and stuff, uh, all acrylic paints from the hobby shop. And a friend of mine, he's got a good 3D printer, made me a rear link riser. This is a new axle. I got one up there i busted one it was really cold and i did some wild stuff and yeah i broke i broke one so got a new one probably gonna paint it that's how i am got some new tutus from my buddy traded a body for these something like that so got two two dura track showdowns on her now and got the 3d printed fan got a 3d printed back cover plate it keeps a lot of crap from getting in there it really actually saves you from all kind of stuff getting in there so that's nice uh, got the stock suspension because it's actually really nice, so keeping that in there. She's a little dirty. Uh, it does still have the LEDs in it and everything. The light bar headlights work. I uh, got the hidden body clips. It's a good truck. I mean, uh, I put a 20 turn in it, an actually racing 20 turn 540 can with uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's the stock pinion that's on it. I don't, I don't forget. I forget the actual numbers of how big it is, but yeah, this thing is awesome. If you uh, get the 20 turn in, I mean, it's fast. My buddy's got brushes and stuff in his, and uh, this keeps up pretty well. Can't complain with it. Everything else has been strong on it. The only thing I've broken is the axle housing. Everything else is fine. All the guts and everything internally are metal, so they're fine. Just a plastic, and it's $10 to get a new one. If you're wondering how much it is, $10, super cheap to get a new one. Haven't had no problems with the front. Uh, servo, servos are Spectrum, I think. Yeah, Spectrum or something like that. Straight out the box, they're junk. I wore mine out the first, second ride. I think it's the first. And uh, I put a, what is that? It is a Eco Power, Eco Power uh, six volt. So it doesn't overload the uh, BEC in my ESC. But yeah, this thing is, it's, it's phenomenal it does great and I can only imagine now let's cut these big boys on there and they don't they don't have no problem clearing see it's not touching so that's the best part about like it's like chassis like over you know what I mean open wheel open wheel class I mean it's great this thing is just phenomenal it still has the dig but for some reason and if I was you I'd probably just switch it out the digs cool if anything get a better servo for the dig otherwise like happened to me in the cold if you're running in the cold or you just do indoors probably fine it might not even mess up but outside in the cold it locked up on me and we had to sit here and mess with it I had to reach up in and force it forward and hopefully mine broke and stays like that because i don't want to use it the dig is useless unless you're competition crawling other than that perfect nothing else to do to it i mean you could go aluminum axle uh that's aluminum axle well you can go all the Build aluminum axles for this, or 775 aluminum, something, something like that. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, you can get all metal axle housings. Then you can go for better links. They do make them. It'd be sweet if they made a metal cage. I mean, you can just do everything. You could get a metal riser like this, maybe if you call it around, try to find someone who can make one. But I haven't seen one yet, or haven't looked, anyways. You can get your aluminum drive shafts. I mean, you could do it up pretty nice. You could get better shocks on it if you wanted to, but right now, it's this is perfect. You don't have to go no farther. 20 turn in it, stock ESC receiver, all that. 
big old balloon tires if you want them. Thing's awesome. Put a little STP grease, all-purpose grease, in the diffs when I rebuild it. Checked everything out. I've had this thing completely scattered down, put back together. It's awesome. Axial Capra. Check it out.